next deserved the chance to grow up. But tragically, that is not going to happen. Instead, Nex died a day after a fight in a school bathroom at Owasso High School in Owasso, a suburb of Tulsa. You know, while we don't have a definitive cause of death in this case, um, the idea of a fight in a bathroom probably sparks fear in the hearts of most parents of LGBT or non-conforming kids, I'm a, I assume. We are losing our kids, and we're losing it because of so many politically motivated attacks that are putting laws in place and creating a culture of violence. You've got one of the founders of Libs of TikTok who was appointed to an advisory board in the state. She doesn't even live in the state and was appointed to an advisory board. Let's be clear. This is egregious, and it's something that every parent, every person watching should be fearful of. And for those who don't know what Libs of TikTok is, it's a TikTok app, a TikTok sort of group of people who um, go after LGBTQ plus people. And this is just one headline. A teacher who was targeted by Libs of TikTok was sent death threats, lost his job, was accused of grooming. They basically go after people. A guy named Tyler Wynn was featured in a Libs of TikTok post telling students, if your parents don't accept you for who you are, F them. Um, so and apparently Nex's mother told The Independent that Nex was actually angry about that post. What do we do to protect people in states like uh, Oklahoma that are not protective of LGBTQ youth or adults? It's important for every person watching to see this as a threat to not some of us, but all of us. Again, if this can happen to next, a non-binary kid in Oklahoma, it could happen to any of our kids. We're also calling to make sure that next, next's life receives some semblance of justice. We're calling on the White House, the Department of Education, the Department of Justice to use every lever of the federal government to ensure that justice is served. Just absolute devastation for that young child, a 16 year old who is no longer here, but let's talk a little more about the legislation that is at issue. You mentioned the massive amount of what the ACLU calls anti-LGBTQ plus legislation in Oklahoma. Yeah, Owasso is a small suburb outside of Tulsa. Owasso Public Schools, the school district, no stranger to anti-LGBTQ controversy. In 2022, a teacher was targeted by the far-right uh, social media account, Libs of TikTok. That teacher eventually resigned. Uh, they had posted uh, videos affirming LGBTQ plus students. Uh, and just last month, the leader of Libs of TikTok TikTok was appointed to a state library advisory committee by state superintendent Ryan Walters. It's not just Nexus story. It is a story of what is happening because of so much hate that is targeted towards the trans and non-binary community in this country. It's not just the bills. It's this culture of violent rhetoric and actions that are really traumatizing our community. Our community recognizes a hate crime when we see one. And this has all the markings of it. Um, and it's doubly concerning when the state superintendent has called trans people an assault on truth uh, and appointed Libs of TikTok founder Chaya Rychik, uh to the school library board. Are you concerned that something is being missed by the local police? The nature of the conflicting police reports uh, around concerns around foul play, along with uh, saying that a student who was assaulted by three of their classmates did not die in relationship to that assault the day before. Um, I think if we want to get to justice for uh, next Benedict and their family, the Department of Justice needs to step in. What do you make of the police being so quick to release information that the preliminary autopsy results found next didn't die as a result of trauma? Because I just, just personally speaking, as an African-American and as a gay man, I'm having a hard time with that. That's right. Next, Benedict died earlier this month after a fight inside of a high school bathroom. We want to call to action um, the medical records of Nick's next Benedict to be open under the Open Records Act because we do believe this was a hate crime. We want the removal of Kaya Raychek from our state library committee. This 16-year-old non-binary child lost their life. Damn. Look, when you send your kids to school, you expect the adults, the trusted adults, to keep them safe. And he did not uphold his responsibility to do that. Ryan Walters appointed someone from Libs of TikTok, an anti-LGBTQ plus online troll, to be on an advisory board, someone that doesn't even live in the state. And NBC actually reached out um, to Libs of TikTok, and, and they gave us um, no comment on that.